I got an ultra wide and I've switched all games to windowed mode, but it is very nice. Yeah, yeah. I saw that uh, LG. LG started producing these monitors, which I think is very interesting. Hold up, let me pull it up real quick. So these guys are like, yo, fuck your aspect ratios. This? I, I don't, I don't know. This is 16 by 18? So it's almost a square? So I use a second monitor it, that's 16 by nine in portrait mode, right? So I have it vertical. As a second monitor, I guess this works. But as an only monitor, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that apparently run that as their only monitor, which is interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly if we're just making changes just for the sake of making changes. There's a bunch of monitors as well that are like... Um... 3x2? A bunch of 16x10s as well. But I don't know exactly why why there's like... God, scanning up your factory takes a lot of resources. Yeah. 5x4? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's, a, it's a bit funky. It's the same as the iPad aspect ratio? What's the iPad aspect ratio? Is it 3x2? Uh, there is a new video going uh, live in about 21 minutes, Todd. Yes. Sixteen by ten is usually the nicer laptops because the higher screen makes a difference. I am more of a sixteen by nine guy personally, I think. But also mostly just because that's what I've been using for years. It is nice. Loco just get this bad boy. Oh my god. Bro, it's too much. Like there is there is there is a too much at some point. This is like what? 31 by 9? A 49 inch monitor. 49 inches? Dude, that's the same size as my pen I I mean uh, as my as my ego. Hmm. Two of your friends have that one. They love it. I don't know, man. That sounds like that sounds like too many inches. I'll be honest with you. 49? 49 inches? Wait, inches and millimeters aren't the same thing? Oh, hold up. Fuck, I went all the way up there. Not for conveyor belts, for... I'm a very distracted gamer today. I know this is bothering some people, especially in the future YouTube comment section. Do people in the future YouTube comment section that have been molding over the last hour or so of me playing this game. I'm very sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's gotta be painful. No one cares about future? I care, hello. Whoa, whoa, bro. Are you insulting my future loco viewers? Whoa, that's kind of offensive, not gonna lie. I need a factory supervisor. Yeah, I guess you guys act as the supervisors. At least on YouTube, they can skip ahead. We must suffer. I guess that's true, yeah. That's actually one of the most common complaints I get. People saying like, hey, the videos are kind of fun, but you're way too distracted most of the time. I feel like that's my entire stream. <laughs> Me being distracted is basically 80% of my content, I feel like. Yeah. Hey, nice, Valestras. They're doing a new update to Dyson Sphere sometime next month, apparently. So I'll be jumping back into that game sometime soon as well. Oh, 
Okay. So, that is part one of this entire abomination done. Part two. Loop. As well as electric on, yeah, electronic units and then, okay. We gotta put lubricant on there, man. It's important. I don't know why that's always so funny to you guys. I gotta run a, run a line of green. I need lines of green. Do, 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 do. And now we'll, uh, we'll make some lube. Barrels of it. I think a barrel of lube would probably last only really for a small amount of robots. I have a lot of demand. Yeah, we need lots, lots and lots of lube. Excuse me, Mr. Tree. <clears throat> Did I do only two lines of green? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna put down a lot of conveyor belts. Loop, Chet. Yes, loop. Why is that so funny? Lubricants are used in loads of different things. Trombones need lube too? Yeah. As a horn lord, I know everything about trombones. That's my official title. Um... Right, we did the thing. And now we gotta go split the thing. Tromboner? Right. It's either Tromboner or Hornlord. Both, both are acceptable. Um, I should have done this slightly differently, actually. So, I need to put in some of these things right over here. You gotta go get... This. Um... Traveling. Thank you, Psycho. Appreciate you for the 81 months. I guess what I can do is just use a long boy inserter instead. This is one weird stream. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You're saying this stream is weirder than usual? Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Alright. This is where the lubricant is gonna go. Now how in the world do you make lubricant, Chet? I don't know. This is something I'll have to figure out. Heavy oil, chemical plant, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. That's easy, dude. 
Maybe I should make the lubricant over here, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, you're all cancelled again. Sorry, I know I'm destroying things over and over and over again. I know it's annoying. Ask me how much I care. No, I care a little bit. Okay. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta make my... No, I don't really want to transport it, because I would have to transport it backwards. I don't like transporting backwards. I've built this all in such a way that I can expand on it very easily, so... This is the heavy oil right over here. It's coming out of these tanks. And I guess I'll run a line of it right about right over here. Okay, this is the heavy oil. Okay, and then we want to produce the lubricant somewhere over here. <laughs> Thank you, Sus. Did you already do the advanced oil processing? Because that's that made me close the stream on Saturday. Wait, what? It made you close the stream? What did I do? I did do it, by the way. I did get it done. Were you molding that hard you had to close the stream? Holy shit. Thank you very much, Death Touch, for the 12. Did I play the new Call of Duty campaign? I did not, know. Thank you for the one year, man. Thank you. I don't know how many loop producing factories I truly need. How much lube can I possibly need? I don't know. So it's just heavy oil. That's kind of nice. At least that's not very difficult. I don't really need to leave any space. I also don't really need this. I can just run... I'm winging it. Yeah, I'm completely winging it as far as my... Stuff goes. There's no math going on. In case you expected math, not here. <laughs> I think this is about as no, uh, no. Yeah, I think this is about as much as I need. Oh shit. We we do not do math on this stream. Usually when I do math, I get it wrong anyways, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I play Factorio without a spreadsheet. Absolutely. Which is also immediately the reason why a lot of people get very tilted. So, take that for what it's worth. So, I want to do... Electric circuits. Yeah. So, if I set them up like this... Ah, it doesn't matter. No, we can we can set it up like so. Well, not like so. God, definitely not like so. Uh, right. We want to do uh, thingy. There we go. Some redundancy in the pipes. Very important. No, this is not the right thing to eat her. My god. Because I still need to run a conveyor belt with stuff. Or... That might actually be a nice thing. I can run a conveyor belt over here. Because my, my problem here is the speed at which these things move. I could run... This is kind of cursed, doing it from this side. But then we can do a long boy. 
So we have a, a fast boy grabber and a long boy pooter. <laughs> I don't have a word for that one, but I think this would do the trick. We have a pooter and a grabber. Come on. One of them grabs, the other one puts them back on the belt. This is spaghetti, but like organized spaghetti. I think organized spaghetti has its own charm. Doesn't that work? And then I can perfectly fit one of these things over there. I think that works. I'm gonna power it up. Here we go. Oh, I did it. I got an achievement. Ma, get the camera. Quick. Okay, it's gone. So I, why are you not make, oh, you, you, okay, I gotta, there you go. That's a lot of lube. That is a lot of lube going in. Perfect. Yeah, so this works. I haven't yet done any factories in this build, though. That have... Stuff going like this. But... That's pretty tidy. I think this would do the trick. Hey, thank you very much, Cool Meester. Cool Meester? I love your content, no matter what games you're playing, keep it up. Casual 6 euro donation on YouTube, baby! Thank you very much. <sighs> nice. That will pay for the upload. Yeah. Uploading to YouTube. Well worth it, apparently. Thank you, man. <sighs> so, I was doing all of this. For robots. Yeah. Flying robot frames. Now, I think I can hand produce these for now. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I don't really care. So I don't know exactly how many of these I'm going to need, but for now, I think I'm just going to put it in a little chest and then we'll, uh, we'll hand produce them. I will let it do like a hundred. These things are very slow. I can also do a, yeah, a single thing for it, I guess. I mean, it is easy for me to set up. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll set it up. I want to leave some space because I don't really know exactly how many of these things I'm going to need. So we'll do like a little mini bus. Yeah, we'll do like a little mini bus right over here. Ah, uh, not right over there, actually. No, that's for input. We'll do a little mini bus right over here. Um, so that's just for these electric engines, so I can hopefully scale it up if I need to, because they're kind of annoying to make. So we can split off over here. This is a bus within a bus, man. Insane. Um, okay. So this would have to be automated by a bunch of complex belts. So this has to merge in together with another belt. Like so. And then the other belt comes in from over here. Other way around. For one of the four items. So I need batteries, electronic circuits, we need a bunch of stuff over here. I could also do this slightly differently, I guess. Maybe do it in like a somewhat more organized manner. We'll set up a splitter over here instead. 
Less spaghetti is better, no? Ah, this is still gonna be a fair chunk of spaghetti. <laughs> I was thinking less spaghetti is better, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. You know what, guys? This is maybe more spaghetti. More spaghetti is better than less spaghetti. I mean, it would work. I don't think I need all of this, though. Nah, like this is okay. More sauce, less spaghetti. Yeah, basically. I think all of this can be tidier, though. With less space in between all this shit. I feel like if I was a programmer, I would write the messiest code. Like, to the point where it's only ever readable to me. <laughs> Vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. True, man. On the surface, he looks calm and ready, but... Guess what? Mom's spaghetti. Batteries. Batteries, 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 batteries. Or, as we say in the Netherlands, batterijen. Batterijen, chat. Batterijen, batterijen, batterijen. Alright. Conveyor belt one. Done. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Batterijen, batterijen, batterijen. Um, now I need to do steel plates and electronic green boys. The Netherlands sounds like a made-up place to us Americans, like Narnia. It's true. We're in the back of the closet too, man. What if I've been faking it this entire time and Dutch isn't even a real language? Like, I've just been coming up with it on the fly. Would you be surprised? <laughs> You'd be like, nah, that makes perfect sense. I knew it wasn't a real language. Duh! It sounded fake this entire time. <laughs> Green stuff? Steel stuff. Oh, I'm out. So we gotta go up here. Am I friends with the Dutch legend Grubby? We're basically BFFs, dude. Absolutely, yeah. Me and Grubby, we hang out all the time. No, I talk to Grubby sometimes. Not very frequently, but every once in a while. God, this looks kind of cursed. Ugh. Grubby and Loco are not the same person. Bro, I wish I was that good at video games. But I'm, I'm glad you confused my video games with, with his. That's nice. You've never seen Grubby and me at the same room together at the same time? Hmm. I did share a, uh, a shuttle with tax or like a shuttle taxi type of thing with Grubby years ago. For like uh, an hour, so I think that makes us basically best friends. Yeah, I th I think that's how it works. Okay. This is uh, kind of a long one. You googled Grubby and Loco? There's no pictures? I think there's a picture on my Instagram somewhere if you scroll way down. Is this really the best I can do over here? 
Because it's so ugly. Maybe I can make it less ugly by doing it like this. Okay, that's slightly less ugly. I like this better. We need that, you know, the fella shape. It's, it's an important aspect of this game. It keeps returning, somehow. Unintentionally, too. Nature is efficient. Okay. A robot frames. Oh. That is what we should be able to make. The only problem is that I need the long boys. And the long boys are really slow. Aren't they? Maybe it's not a big deal. But their rotation speed is half. Yeah. I could do two long boys? Is that dumb? I mean, at least it would be the same speed. It's not really necessary, I guess, but... I just need to be able to power it, I guess. That's my main issue here. But I'm assuming if I put a... No, never mind. My assumption was wrong. Oh, I can fit it over here. Nah, I should still not do that. I am sleepy, man. Absolutely am. So my, uh, my chest over here for explosives is set up over on this square. I kind of would like to have this as well in the same spot or the same location. Or at least close to the bottom of the bus. So I would, you know, be able to find my stuff later. Can I grab things like so? Is that optional? Or is, is that possible? Would it be able to grab? I think so. Okay, make robot frames. I don't know exactly how many, but we'll do 200 for now. Hey, thank you. I am D5 Day Blue. You like new YouTube video? It's been online for five minutes. Whoa, he watches my videos at times 100, says Edmin, because he's got passion. You haven't even watched my new video yet? It's been up for five minutes, sis. Come on. Where's your passion? If you use different corner tunnels, you can mix them in each other and use fast, short ones. Hmm. This one's cute for when you cook dinner in like seven hours. Ah, nice. We have frames. Oh, these take a super long time to produce. Holy crap. Okay, maybe I should expand this a little bit. We'll double it for now. I kind of expect that I would return to my screen and I would suddenly see a dozen of them sitting there in a chest waiting for me to, uh... Not the case. Okay, so, that's gonna be flying robot frames. I can make some manually too. Um, right. So, mostly just to clear out some of my inventory junk. What do I do with the, the robot frames, guys? Now I have the frame. Um, worker robot speed. Sure, increase that. I don't care. Construction robots. Alright, so I unlocked four recipes for this thing. Roboport? Connects with other roboports to create the construction and logistics network used by construction and logistics robots. Do I want to automate the production for roboports? Probably. Is 
Yeah, I think I should set up the production for that as well. Robo parts. So none of these are particularly complex. You want power armor and a personal robo port? Oh, that's what I should be looking for first? I was trying to type personal. Personal robo port. You're no longer, yeah. Personal robo port. Unavailable. Why not? Uh, personal robo port requires personal solar panel first. All right. Insert it into the armor to obtain or to power other equipment, but useless at night. Same, bro. I'm also useless at night. Hashtag relatable. Personal battery. All right. Cue that one up too. Personal battery mark two. All right. Power armor. I need advanced electronics for that. Armor with a large equipment grid and inventory bonus. I don't have any armor. All right, well, we'll queue up a bunch of things. <sighs> Look, I scrolled through your Instagram. Why do you look so much older nine years ago? This was nine years ago? I remember this, dude. This was ages ago. Do I look older in this photo than I look now? This was 469 weeks ago. I look old here? Hmm. It's the camera, yeah. Is that grubby? No, that's me, dude. I think I was a little heavier back then. Well, maybe not so much heavier, but like more body fat. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Dude, these take a long ass time to produce. Holy crap. I was fluffier. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more of these. God, eight years ago. I remember exactly where that is, too. That's wild. That kind of seems like a lifetime ago somehow. Huh. Bim -ba -dim. All right, so personal or portable solar panel. Yeah, no longer need these. Sorry, you're canceled. Portable solar panel, personal battery, modular armor. All right, I haven't yet made any of these. And then personal robo port. I think I can just equip them in my modular armor or something, but I don't know. We'll have to have a look here. Good evening from Japan. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing all right. Welcome. Modular armor. Right click to open. So I throw the battery and whatnot in here. Oh. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a good sneeze, though. I rate that sneeze a 10 out of 10. Uh, maybe a 9 out of 10. Portable solar panel. All right. Allows construction bots to work from your inventory. All right. Now I just need construction bots, I guess. I may also need a couple more of these portable solar panels. I will make like three, three more. Um.
How do I make the actual construction robots? Oh, right over here. Construction robots recipe. They take 27 seconds to build if you have the raw resources, but if you have the robo frames together with the electronic circuits, it's real, real quick. So let me pick up a couple over here. So do I throw these in my armor then as well? I guess so. Well, that's a little much. All right. Um, so here's the armor. I'm being attacked. It's okay. It's okay. So the personal robot port doesn't have. Okay, here's the here's the robots. How do I? What do I do with them? Automatically build and repair friendly entities. I just keep them in my backpack. Okay, they can live in my backpack. I want to have 50 of them in my backpack. Yeah, 50. Those assemblers without a recipe are so unsettling. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because I didn't realize I didn't have that yet. Okay. So just as a test, right? Say, hypothetically speaking, I really want to have my robots building a thing over here. It's not working, chat. Oh, it's, it's, I don't have energy. It's not, okay, don't freak out. We needed electricity. I will put in some more solar panels. Charge. Maybe I'd need more, a lot more solar panels. I think I need more. Uh, I did unlock the advanced electronics. Armor with a large equipment grid and inventory size. Exoskeleton. Inserted into armor to increase movement speed. Bro, that's what I want. Yeah, it's nighttime right now, so my battery is not charging. I think I also just need a lot more solar panels, though. So these are gonna require sulfuric acid, which is... a little bit of a pain in the dick, I'm not gonna lie. Um Where's my solar panels? There they are. I think I just need need to make more of these. I don't know exactly how many I need, but a bunch. Uh okay. I'm on my way. I'm being attacked. Oh. It was a red marker though. So I'm assuming this is going to require processing units. Yep. Yep, they surely do. Oh my god, what's this? Spider-tron? A versatile vehicle capable of traversing rough terrain. It's equipped with fast-firing rocket launchers, can be driven manually, or using the Spider-tron remote. I think I'm a Spider-tron kind of guy, personally. I I'm a Spider-tron main, actually. Belt immunity equipment inserted into armor to prevent you from being moved by transport belts. Oh, but I kind of like that. That's a feature, not a bug, no? Absorb damage, energy shield. Let's go. Let's get that. Um, right, so I'm going to have to set up the processing units, I guess. Ay, ay, ay. That's going to be... A lot of work. I'm slowly becoming a Protoss. Yeah, but I'm a Terran with, you know, Protoss technology. Hey, how many of those solar panels do you reckon I should run for now? Like, I can only fit so many. I was thinking maybe like two rows of it, but maybe I should run more? Because this seems to be the only way that I can... 
power my equipment currently, right? Unless I'm mistaken. But I don't think there's any other way. Yeah, I'll probably get something better soon enough, but not yet. Oh, I can do multiple batteries as well. Oh, that's not even something I really considered. Okay, let's do another personal battery. I like batteries. They taste nice. Energy shield? Let's get one. Uh, I'm actually gonna go grab some of the red stuff that I'm automatically producing. I don't need five. Just one. Energy Shield Mark II. Insert it into armor to absorb a large amount of damage. Power armor. Yeah, let's research that one too. I do have robots, but I don't have any electricity yet. Which seems like an important prerequis uh, prerequisite over here, but I'm, I'm trying to get it going right now. So the sun's coming up. Charge me, sun! <laughs> I want to be Edward in Twilight, okay? I just want to stand here and sparkle. Charge me! Give me power! Yeah, just power it, man. I want to praise the sun. Absolutely. Do I have to lay down? Wally is a much better role model. No, no, no. Edward. Edward is my favorite role model. Every time you move it, it resets the battery. Oh, is that how batteries work in real life too? If I move them, they get reset? Oh, the electricity is building! Yeah, yeah, I was thinking maybe putting like a uh, foil on the, f on the ground, you know? And just standing in the middle of it. Maybe direct mirrors to watch my character. Yeah, yeah. Electric cars can't hold a charge if you move them, that's true. It's a real oversight there. Scientists are hard at work right now to try and fix that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, I hit level 87 defense in RuneScape. 20 minutes ago. I only just now realized. Nice. Okay. I think the time has almost come, Chet. It might be time for you to prepare your Craigasms and Pog Champs. I think soon I will be able to command minions. Minions to construct stuff. It's charged. Okay. Now my person is charging too. Does it work? <gasps> I mean, they're slow as hell, but yes. It works. That is very nice. Everybody's got to start somewhere. It's slow. It's not impressive, but it does look cool. It's only the beginning, guys. We're gonna have to scale it up someday. We'll have Zoomy boys flying around. We'll have robots building robots. Yeah, yeah, I can upgrade its speed already. I've already upgraded it once, I think. So ultimately, the idea is that I can also just scale up my own factory, right? So right now, for example, the bottleneck seems to be this stuff over here. Would this do the trick? Oh my god. What seems to be the problem? Oh, okay, I don't have enough of these things in my backpack right now.
This is faster than me because at least it doesn't make mistakes. I will never do any manual labor ever again. No. This is how it works. Okay, power armor coming up. We're gonna have to do the blue uh, sign soon, I guess. So what if I run away from my robots? Will they catch up eventually? Uh, correction, hyperbeam. I didn't make it. Whoa, 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 Peter. Are you roasting my robots right now? Because if you didn't know any better, you were roasting my robots. I gave them names, dude. You're like insulting my children right now. Um, okay. Splitters? <laughs> Bro, your children are slow as fuck. Yeah, my kids are pretty slow. It's true. <laughs> Power armor, as they say in England. Portable fusion reactor. Of course, let me make a portable fusion. Okay, that's a while away. Let's see. Flammables? What does this do? Rockets? Flamethrowers? Rocket fuel? Spidertron. Night fish. Oh, night vision. Let's go, dude. I would like some night vision. Thank you very much. Allows you to see more clearly in darkness. I'm kind of sick and tired of the day-night cycle, dude. Both in the video game as well as in real life. Oh no, my cats don't care about anything I do, or it's okay. It is that they're very cute and fluffy, but otherwise, you know, it may have been a bad idea to get cats. I am very happy I have cats. Even though they really just take me for granted and just assume I will do anything for them, which I do. Oh god, guys, where, where did my robots go? Shit. Murder! It's time for murder. I don't know where my robots went. Um. Oh, here they are. <laughs> here are my kids. I lost my my kids. Come to loco. Oh, they have to power up. Sit in my backpack. Sit in my backpack. Come on. Come to Papa. I can pick him up? Bro. I am their superior... You know, I, I'm not... I'm not gonna manually pick him up. Insane. No, I don't think I need five of those. I only have two eyes. Okay, that's night vision. Uh-uh-uh. Worker robot speed. That seems like a good idea. Oh. Okay. Hey guys. Come to Loco. <laughs> Is this what it's like to have kids? Dude, they're dumb and tedious. What the hell? You should, if you have kids and they're also kind of slow and tedious, you should, you should go ahead and research the speed upgrade. They'll be much faster. Yeah, it's uh, just a little bit of advice. So can I now also use the upgrade button? Can I like... Oh my god. Gamers. Feast your eyes. It doesn't get much hotter than this.
Nani, the fuck am I looking at? Did you just use the word Nani? I don't know if that's allowed. Like, I don't know the rules. But I feel like using the word Nani, unironically, is illegal. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. Uh, there are some giant enemies. Oh, they auto repair! Oh my god, I love drones. I need a drone in real life. Yeah, repair all the things. Do it. Do it. Great. Here, you've been promoted. Congratulations. You now have piercing damage. Okay, my worker speed is now a little higher. Let's see. Oh! What? Oh, not bad! Very nice. Can I do more? More worker speed. Yes, dude. I love worker speed. Okay. Um, I think it's this nest up here. It's time for me to do some murdering. A little bit of murdering, just a small amount. Yeah, that's really good. Anime watchers are better than casual Marvel enjoyers? Is that copium? That may be copium. I think I have other robots here that can fight for me. So these only live for a short amount of time, 45 seconds. 